Hi guys, it's Paul again from the YouTube Art Channel. Um, okay, so today, um, for this video, I'm just going to do a... Because uh, I've been doing a bit of graffiti art on this art here. Uh, I'm going to do a, a spray can uh, that's fallen over on its side and spilt um, on the floor. So um, I'm thinking about doing it in this area here where we've got a bit of white space. Um, so this is a really quick one. So um, we'll do a curve like this. Okay, um, and we'll do an, another curve like this to match. All right, um, now you, what you want to do from here is almost a diagonal there, straight across here, slightly back up. Okay, uh, and then you want another curve to match the one at the back, top of the spray can. Okay, I'll do this in pen in a minute. All right, now we'll do that through here, and then we'll do this through there, okay? Um, and that's it, apart from dome, like this. So draw a dome there that's going to be grey. We're going to have a black. Uh, top of the spray okay we're gonna have this kind of thing going on here it's an oval there all right um, this is broken okay so we want it looking a bit sick okay we've got a cross in here for a cross in here for the for the head, okay, for the head of the can, or the tip of the can. Now, round this, we're going to do this kind of effect. It's going to look like it's, it's bled out, okay. So, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing as I'm going along. Um, so... It looks, it'll look like it's, um, it's seeped out here if we do this kind of thing. Okay. That's the kind of effect we're trying to achieve. Oval here. Another small oval in there. Another oval here. Okay. Um, and that's about it. Okay. Um, maybe one at the back um, there okay so now I'm gonna go around it in black okay um, just because this is gonna be red and it's gonna be quite dark in places so I just don't want to go over the lines so I'm gonna do this a lot of people do this at the end I quite like doing it halfway through when I've got the drawing how I want it to be. Okay, so you need a bit of a grey, a silvery grey. Um, this is all black. This uh, close to the tip, so that's what we can do there. All right. Um, line through there. Line through there. I'm going to leave that um, pencil crane for now. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go around. Definitely go around this. And this. Um, so what we need is a bit of light grey. Okay. So I'm going to go for the lightest grey I've got. Just give it a bit of pencil crayon, a bit of a um, sharp. Get it nice and sharp. Um, what we're going to have is um, grey through here. Okay. We're going to have grey this section and a bit darker here if you can press down a bit harder uh, through this area here okay and then grey through the bottom edge as well all right so leave a bit of white if you can and then this side of the this side of the um, the tip of the spray can okay um, and then we're gonna go red all right so I'm gonna go um, quite a lightish red to start off with 
just in this section here. All right. But what you want to do is not have any white space. Okay, so we'll go right across. See if you can do your pencil crane the same direction if you can, if you're quite new to shading in. Um, just gives you a nice smooth uh, pattern across whatever you're drawing, coloring in. Now I do want this a bit darker, so technique I've got here now, instead of using a different red, I'm just going to use um, a silvery grey across uh, across the top of this. Okay, so um, I'll just show you now what I mean by that. So if you just take the grey and go over the top of the black, uh, sorry, the red, almost it doesn't become black, but it, it goes much darker and it, it deadens the the colour, so it's not as bright. Okay. Um, so we're going over the top of this red now with a with a grey, silvery grey. Okay, if you haven't got a silvery grey, um, mine's silver actually and it's quite sparkly. If you've seen any of my videos before, um, you're fine with a, a black, just go really light or a darker grey. Okay, um, I'm going to put a, a bit of a, a bend in, in the can there. Okay, I'm going to go around this. So it looks like it's um, it's bent. Okay, so that's it for that silver. And then back to the red again for underneath. All right, this is where you just got to be a little bit careful now because the spaces are quite small. Okay, so see if you can just get that red going round this, so it looks like it's spilt. to try and achieve here. Um, I'll get out of your way in a minute so you can see what I've just done. It's quite difficult to draw or colour in without uh, going across the, the camera with my hand. This is a really easy thing to do in it. Graffiti art, street art, I tend to use kind of cartoons, spray cans quite a lot uh, to tell a story. Okay. Okay. So So I'm gonna go around this in black actually, um because I don't I don't like how it looks, so I'm just gonna go around the sporges in in black in a black fine liner. Like this, okay. Um, if you can do the same, that'd probably be good. And the outside edges of these. There we go. Okay. Um, you could do do a little bit of red coming out of this um, spray can here from the tip, like this kind of thing, if you wanted to. Okay, um, I'm not going to go around it like black actually because I think I'll spoil it there. Um, and maybe a couple of reddish dots down there. Okay, um, so that's that's. Um, that's a spray can, so um, yeah, that's all we really need to be doing there. Maybe a little bit darker red uh, at this bottom edge. A little bit darker red. I think I might go with that with my grey, actually my silvery grey, just to shade this edge in here. Okay. There we are. Um, and then tend to just darken the inside where it's to be touching the ground, darken that inside edge there so it looks uh, a bit more 3D, okay, in the back of the can there probably, okay, so it'll just bring it forward slightly on the, so it's, it's like an optical illusion where you're shaded, shading in there, 
Okay, and that's done. Um, job done. Um, so see you again next time. Take care. Have a have a lovely day.